Haven't you heard of an implicit contract? Morons. Don't go in there. No. It's Marcus, is it? They don't know the first thing about ethics. OK. When a stripper takes a £150 tip, is there or is there not a blowjob implied? I'm not a legal expert. It's understood, right? My wife's a lawyer, though. I'm not sure she'd want to take your case, cos mightn't blowjobs contravene their no-touching policy? Let's get shit faced. I shouldn't really. Sperm count issues. <laughs> Did you just give somebody a £150 tip? Yeah. No touching. That's like when the masseuse says, strictly not a sexual service. Everyone knows what that means. I'm guessing the AA thing didn't work out. Another bloody swizz. Two meetings I sat through. Still drink like a fish. Why are we here? I wonder if I could talk to you about some of the community work we do at the church. There's this constant need for help, you see, and it's only getting bigger with the economic downturn. Don't. Don't. Because I see it on a daily basis. The things people go through. Yes. Expenses sheets queried. Flying economy. Mm. We're doing some, I think, exceptionally valuable work. We've had to cancel the car service, Adam. You can't call a cab to the building anymore. You have to go out in the street and hail one, like a bastard. I think I meant more the street people who congregate around the church, some of whom you'll have seen the other night at the meeting. I know what you're trying to do. You do? You're trying to depress me into giving up booze again. <laughs> Actually, no, I, I have this hole in my accounts. It's really a crazy situation, but if I can't somehow plug that hole, then my position, you see, all that valuable work is... Rory! Under threat. Emergency with the weather. What are the chances of snowfall? Let's slow melt it. I'd know where we are. Darling. What's the postcode here? E9. You hear that? Mm, I know. Breathing apparatus. Decontamination soon. The whole country's after a handout. What is that breed? Total lack of fiscal responsibility. Yes, Marcus, could I please have £150? I am short in my church accounts, and there are people who depend on me in a genuinely life and death sense, but I have no money. And it's lovely that you have this disposable income, and I'm sure that's about expertise and hard work. I'm sure it is. It's just I promise that this small amount to you would make a massive difference. You're just pissed at our friendship. I can't believe that you would ask a mate for money. <laughs> ah, there. All right, mate. Come on, matey. Easy, easy. Yeah.